and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today I'm going to ask the question, was Deadwood's first episode, entitled Deadwood, was it a perfect episode? Now, over the history of television, how hard is it for a television show, especially with a cast as large as Deadwood, had main characters but also had an ensemble cast, how hard is it to hit the ground running and do a great job on the first episode? Now, Right away from the first scene, we notice the writing is different from any kind of Western we've ever seen before. David Mills, his writing style was so fantastic. We also knew from the start it wasn't going to be our grandfather's Western. It wasn't going to be like Bonanza, Gunsmoke, The Big Valley. It was going to be salty. It was going to have some rough language with some rough storylines. I'm going to say it was a perfect episode, a perfect first episode for a TV show. You have the two main characters, Seth Bullock and Al Swearengen, and right away, we know how they're going to be the entire series. We know that Seth Bullock, from the opening scene, where that we know he's going to stick to his guns, and he's, he's not someone who likes to be told what to do. And he doesn't like bullies. When Byron Sampson comes in there and says, like, ah, give me the prisoner, Bullock. Ah, you're leaving town anyway, you know. And Bullock says, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commence sentence now. And it was a dramatic scene. It's, it's a real dramatic scene. And, and for a pilot to start out that way, we're like going, okay, this is where we know this show is not going to hold anything back. I mean, hanging a man from that low and Seth Bullock has to help him hang so he's not hanging there for 20 minutes. We also learned that Saul Starr is not just Bullock's partner. He's his friend. He has his back all the time. We see that throughout the entire series. And you go to Swearingen. What do we know about Swearingen? You don't cross him. You, even if you're on his side, you don't go against his plan. As we see later on, it's going to cost you your life. Swearingen is a smart guy. Thinks way far ahead than anybody else, right? He's like three or four steps ahead. You don't come and change the plan on him. So those two characters right away... They do a fantastic job of letting us know who they are. You have all the other characters. E.B., who we know is kind of slimy, and we see that in the first episode. Charlie Utter, who's an honorable, loyal guy. Calamity Jane is kind of a drunk and kind of a hothead and kind of, you know, just a loudmouth. That's her character through the, the entire series. You get that Johnny and Dan are completely loyal to Al Swearingen. It doesn't matter what he does to them. And even if they don't want to do something, even if Dan doesn't want to kill somebody, they're going to do whatever Al wants because they're loyal to him. And that's true throughout the entire series. I just believe the first episode is just spot on. In fact, if you watch the opening credits, and I say this all the time, when it gets to the end and they're outside the gem saloon, the horse stops at the gem saloon, there's a puddle of water there, and it looks like poop. I think what they're saying, all the crap that happens in Deadwood, starts at the Gem Saloon, that they're running the crap show. So that's all I got. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Was it a perfect pilot? Was it a perfect first episode? Did it have some flaws? That's all we got. I'm out. Bye, everybody.